Hello everyone, my name is Robin Hake and today I will present our recent work on the effect of hearing aid amplification and compression for music perception. Probably everyone here is familiar with the so-called cocktail party problem, which is a challenge of focusing on a single speaker within a noisy environment. This phenomenon illustrates a key function of the auditory system to organize sound sources known as auditory scene analysis. It is known for quite some time that for hearing impaired individuals, auditory scene analysis is more difficult. And just as they struggle with understanding speech, they also face challenges in music perception. For example, with the task to hear out a specific instrument like a violin amidst a full orchestra. That is what we term musical scene analysis. Traditionally, hearing aids have been designed to improve sound quality and enhance AS auditory scene analysis abilities in speech. However, their impact on music perception is less clear and presents unique challenges. After all, only 41% of respondents in one study reported that hearing aids improved their enjoyment for music. Moreover, hearing aid users often encounter issues such as feedback and distortions, particularly during live music performances. These issues can be so disruptive that many individuals choose to remove their hearing aids for music listening, leading to a compromised musical experience. In sum, for many hearing aid users, the sound quality for music listening is poor. Yet this issue has largely been neglected in the literature. Accordingly, our first goal was to investigate the effect of hearing aid amplification on the ability to hear out an instrument within a mixture. Within hearing aid amplification, there is one major component to improve sound quality, and that is compression. Essentially, there are two approaches for compression systems, fast and slow. While with fast compression, one can take advantage of the temporal dips in the background, slow compression generally leads to higher listening comfort with less experience distortions. So our second goal was to ex examine the effect of hearing aid compression speed on scene analysis abilities. Then we want also relate those to audio quality ratings and also to speech and noise performance. We invited 33 elderly hearing aid users for a laboratory ex experiment with specific hearing profiles between N3 and N4, classified according to Biscard. Previous consistent hearing aid usage was on average about 18 years. The test battery comprised a total of four tests. After a quick audiometric assessment, the musical scene analysis test followed. Within this recently validated test, participants are required to decide whether a single target instrument or lead vocals was part of a musical mixture. The task procedure is very straightforward. At first, participants listened passively into a mixture for 8 seconds, then one target instrument played in isolation for 2 seconds. After a short pause, several instruments played simultaneously, in which the target was either present or not. At the end, subjects were asked whether they have heard the target instrument or not. Here's an example for you. The test is adaptive, which enabled a relatively short testing time, and we applied the standard test length of 30 items, which was good because we repeated the test three times for each listening condition. That is, without hearing aids and with hearing aid in either slow or fast compression mode. The order in which the conditions were tested was randomized for each participant. The next block, the audio quality ratings were measured. Here, participants passively listened into 30 seconds pop or classic music excerpt and rated them on five dimensions, each using a 10-point Likert scale. These dimensions were loudness, sharpness, fullness, clearness, and overall quality. A total of 30 except were present, presented, and the presentation order was also randomized. In the end, a standard speech reception threshold and noise was employed, the Göttinger sentence test. Let's hop into the results. Here we see the MSA ability scores for each hearing condition. A a score of zero indicate a median performance in comparison to the calibration population. Higher scores indicate better performance. We could indeed see that our subjects performed worse in the unaided condition, 
followed by the slow compression approach, and it's actually the fast compression approach in which the participants performed best. That is, with the fast compression approach, it was easiest for individuals to hear out a specific instrument from a mixture. By using contrast within a mixed effects model, we could see that both the effect of compression as well as the combined effect of amplification are significant. We did the same analysis for the audio quality ratings. The y-axis now presents ratings, in which the ratings of all five dimensions are combined into one, as they yielded very similar results and were highly correlated. Again, we observed a positive effect for the use of hearing aids. And similar to the MSA task, there was also an effect for compression. However, here the directionality is different. Let's have a quick combined look into both effects. Here ratings are plotted on the y-axis and MSA scores on the x. Unaided, both the sound quality ratings and MSA abilities are lower, so in sum we see an effect of amplification itself. The difference, however, is that for musical sound quality, it's the slow, slow compression that ex exhibited the best ratings, while for musical scene analysis it was the fast compression approach. Thus. Compression differentially affects musical scene analysis and musical sound quality. Despite that, we also did the same analysis for the Göttinger sentence test. Here, lower means better. Here also, both effects are significant. But the interesting part is that even though we would expect shared underlying processing within the same individuals for both speech intelligibility and musical scene analysis, we found that for music, fast compression outperformed the slow approach, but it's other way around in the speech domain. When comparing both speech and music, we see that under the unaided condition there is in correlation, yet we could only find non-significant trends among the aided conditions. So maybe within the conditions presented in this specific speech and noise task, listening doesn't require such rapid adjustments compared to those needed in the musical domain. In a multi-speaker scenario, this might have been different. Let's sum up for today. The results underscore the potential of hearing aids for music perception as amplification improves everything. Yet the compression approach matters, as compression does not only differentially affect musical scene analysis and musical sound quality, but also differentially affects auditory scene analysis in speech and music. This is the end. I thank you all for your attention and I'm happy to answer your questions.